The murder of a man shot dead in the street. He was found with serious head injuries lying on the pavements in Haymarket Roads in Luton. Hello, first tonight, a warning from the police in Luton, an estate where a drug dealer was gunned down. Luton at Borough of Bedfordshire, England is home to a large Vauxhall motor tree and also known for its diverse cultural mix. Now on the surface it certainly does look calm and peaceful, however it has become a hotbed for gun and knife crimes with over three fatalities over the past seven months. Now, the term postcode wars certainly sounds like a lot of hype. However, when it comes to describing a type of inter-estate rivalry or conflict, the word certainly speaks for itself. I want to see Luton Labour MP Kelvin Hopkins to find out where the undercurrent of violence, threats and gang culture really stems from and what the government is doing to prevent it. Well, as you know, as a young man died not so long ago in Luton, it's quite very tragic. Yes. I went to his funeral after that. Um, and again, as I referred to earlier, you know, the problem of unemployment, I think, is underlies all this. That young people who face the prospect of having no work, um, their culture is on the street rather than at work and in the home. And uh, young men have energies, they need to have self-esteem, they need to feel important and part of something. And if there's no work for them, they are tempted to join into gangs. What exactly, you know, what made you join a gang? Uh, I think we're all into gangs. Humans are, are social animals. Um, we like to we like to get together for specific reasons, whether it be to help hunt, hunt to protect each other, or just to socialise, let us some steam to identify. Human's nature is to look at somebody else to understand who they are. But why do these young teens feel the need to mark out their territory in the first place? Is it because they feel threatened? Lennis Wilson, advisor for the Non-Violence Alliance organisation, explained to me. Um, but I have to say there are many reasons why people join gangs nowadays. Um, like I said, lack of money, um, lack of parents, lack of the father, lack of father being at home, lack of control at home, um, rival chivalry. Sub Drugs, you know, there's so many different reasons. What boredom? Why they why they end up in gangs? There's so many different reasons why they do it. I was invited to see ex-gang member but current reggae artist, the Future Kid, to hear his story. Uh, Postcode war um, is it's it's a terminology I I think used by officials, government, police, um, anyone who's in a position of authority to describe young groups of uh, kids, could be young adults as well, from different areas uh, fighting each other. That's what I associate postcode war with. Uh, when I was uh, younger, yeah, I was part of a gang, if you'd like to call it. I mean, um, the terminology gang as well, it's, it's, it's borderline because it's a family for some people. You know, for some people it's the place where you're most respected, you're most loved, uh, your sh things are shared with you. Um, it's a place where you, it, it is, is home for some people. So the terminology gang, yet in one hand and family in another. So yeah, we can look at it like that. Yes. I'm Ollie Martins and I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner for Bedfordshire, which includes Luton. Well, I think it's important to emphasise that the problem that we have and what we've seen on our streets with gun incidents, knife incidents and uh, drug dealing is related to criminality um, and it's criminality pure and simple uh, and that is what the people here are saying that they are opposed to and that they want to uh, see swept off our streets and that's an aspiration that I share very much with them. I understand you're a gang. How did you get into 
it in well, the first A lot of place. people will call it a gang, but the way we see it is we're looking out for each other, innit? So whereas on their side, you'd call them a gang as well, but they're looking out for each other, for themselves as well. So if they was to see us or one of us, yeah. they're going to do pr pr probably the same thing we're going to do to them when we see them. I think the only way we can overcome that is to create a society for employment where everybody has a job as soon as they leave education. And uh, <clears throat> as I say, when I used to come, when I first came to Luton, Vauxhall, one of the big employers, used to canvas doors to lawful work, workers. And thousands of people came from all over Britain, all over the world, to work in Luton because there was so much work here. And uh, unemployment was unknown. Uh, one of the things sometimes the police have got a bad name over is because they don't always show their respect to the young black young people as they ought to, you know, or they, if they do speak with them, they speak to them in this hard, uh, aggressive manner. Sometimes you even suspect they want to provoke them to do bad. And I would like to think no police officer in Bedfordshire would be allowed to get away with anything like that. We mean in not just our church, but other churches too. Uh, we work together as part of an alliance as well, called Apostolic Churches Alliance, which I've been meeting for about four or five years now, the purpose of which has been to work together and build in uh, our capacity as churches to do more in the community. Do, do you think it's worth someone dying over? It depends. It depends? It depends. What do you mean it depends? He was my sister. Right. And we were standing here right now, and someone came up to you and shot you. I'm going to them. But do you think violence, you know, is the best, is always the best thing to... In that, at that moment, yeah. At that moment. Maybe after I've done what I've done, I might sit down, smoke a spliff and be like, hmm, okay, maybe I shouldn't have, but then at the same it's time... It's a bit it's too like, late, isn't it? It's a bit too late, isn't it? But then at the same time, like, people will say, don't do violence, where, tear, 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 tear. But then in the Bible, in the Quran, in bare little different books and all of them things, it says defend your brother, defend your family. Kids are frustrated and of then what, do you think? Of, the, of the society that they live in, in the circumstances and the messages that they get through what the kind, media. What kind of circumstances? Sorry. And then, well, I just explained drugs, poverty, um, social seclusion. A strategic partnership was, was um, sort of developed from all of the things that happened with Delaney Brown. And from that, uh, a gesture from the local council was given off £10,000. It's That comment still, um, it's sort of putting the cart before the horse. Because right now, because it's sort of in an early stage, we're deliberating what's going to be done with it. And there is planning to actually make good use of that money, whether it be um, through a conference that we're going to be having. Um, for the actual aspect of what happened with Delaney Brown, we're actually looking to put together um, a music video in Luton that will sort of portray the music that he did because he died as a very talented young man. All I can say to them is if you've got a talent and you know you're good at something, you know, just work hard at that. You know, and as I say, educate yourself. If you educate yourself, then you've got more of a chance of, of, of getting out of any form of gang or any form of peer pressure because you don't have to depend on it because you have your own trade or your own independence in a sense, you know? As I approached the end of my journey, I realised that whether or not the problem lies within the tense relationship between the government, police and the marginalised communities, one thing was for sure, these meaningless killings could easily be prevented from happening. Uh, this is a message from the real future going out to all of the youths all over the nation. Listen me. Well, I wonder how the teacher, every cast and colour, every credit I go reach, just your love a feature. Every human being, everyone a God's creature. Too much at the beat, yeah. right and now me no know who is my brother's keeper. So me have to think deeper, cause the buckle is long but the victory is sweeter. Me tell them stay away from guns and crime. Upon my knees I pray, just show the sign, but the youths love warring.